Uh, let's have some fun. This chip is sick. I wanna take a ride on frequency trick. Okay, now I will show you why Xeons on LGA775 is still a good choice for a computer to just play. So, as you can see, this is FSB frequency. This is standard for this CPU. We have the standard clocks for uh, RAM and everything is on auto here. This is ASUS P5Q Deluxe. The only thing, this is pool voltage and uh, load line calibration is on and there's a performance mode. We will get now to the system. This is this great machine. Okay? As you can see I get fun controller here because I'm playing quite quietly in some games at night. So here we have 3 GHz X5450 Okay Now So, here we have it. So going straight forwardly after system will load. There's the system loading. Okay, it has ended, so CPU ID and hardware monitor maybe I shouldn't put them both on at the same time but yeah. okay okay so we have here 3 gigahertz okay bus speed 333 three, three. Core one two fifth five fifth six. I'm sorry. Okay, now we'll check the hardware monitor. Thinking great. Okay, now those are the times of the CPU. Okay. Not bad, I think. Okay, uh, I have NVIDIA GTX 7700 and it's 35 degrees, but it's on low profile of funds now. So, anyway, but let's get back to the CPU. We will check there's a main board, memory speeds, and we have speeds memory doesn't matter okay we will bench this CPU okay this is the bench of this current CPU oh, going right here okay now we have it we will select some the chips. So Celeron N twenty eight oh eight one point fifty eight gigahertz is quite low. E seven four hundred fifty-five eight U two point eight gigahertz is worse. AMD A ten seven thousand eight hundred fifty with R seven graphics a little bit better 8150 better but not so much this is 8 core processor this is kinda better i7 3630QM ok but let, let's get to the point of of this thing. 
This thing is double speed, I think. And the highest one? Yay. It's probably much, much, much uh, better. But this one costs about 4,000 zlotych. So it's about $1,000. And this chip costs about 40, 45. Anyway. That's the thing. We won't stress it now because this is there's no point. We know that it will gonna go past through the test. So we will I will show you how to overclock Xeon. Very difficult stuff. Xeons are overclocking in a funny way. I'll show you. Okay. This is for hundreds. The memory will have eight hundred one. Nothing's changed here. Everything almost is on out. Okay, this will give us three point six gigahertz. Exit save change, thank you. Okay, we're waiting till the system will load fully. Done. CPU Z. Yeah, yeah, there's a new version. Go, go, go. Okay, now we got 3.6 gigahertz here. Now bench it. Okay, we're going here, ooh, much better, here, better, here, better, 8 core, slightly better, this one, oh, 150% better, okay, of course, this one is 3 times, over 3 times, Better, but this is also eight core processor, I, th I think, or minimum six core to core. There is not very big difference between those. Anyway, here you have it. These are the temps, okay? Not very big. Anyway. Going back, we'll start it again. Entering setup. Now, there is a trick. Ooh, yeah, 
But since we got on the auto everything, so DRM frequency has to be this one because it's the lowest profile. But anyway, everything in this thing is on auto. DRM voltage is on auto. No bridge auto. Everything. Load line calibration is enabled. Anyway, getting back to the point, save configuration. Four point twenty one. Yep. The joke is like this. I was trying many times to put the CPU with changing many stuff because uh, previously I had many options on and trying to. I was changing the voltage and all the stuff. But yeah, everything. <laughs> When I put everything on auto, it runs just normally. <laughs> so that's the thing <laughs> about overclocking Xeons. Okay. System is loading. It loaded quickly. You can see that. CPU ID is loading. Yeah, we got 4,194. Okay, it's just, there's a bus, 1,864 MHz. This is core voltage. Okay, but what about benching this CPU? Let's bench it. Well, of course, if we take 8 core processor, <laughs> this is almost the same. The 1 core processor is here. This one is better, i7, okay? And this one is more better. And this one kicks his ass badly. But core to core, just look at this. Not big difference. Okay, but someone would ask me about stability. So yeah, let's try it. Okay, <laughs> those are the times. 46, 41, 45, 44. Okay, we will get to the point of lean pack. Hello, lean pack. This is a very bad test for any CPU, which will show us How does it work? Do we need 10? No, we, we won't have much time, but... So these are the times at start. We will start this test. The test is on. Everything is quite going. Yay. Yep, exactly what you see, 86, 80 degrees. Ninety-eight. 
50 degrees Okay. Anyway, yeah, I took very high, so we could wait and wait and wait. It doesn't change much over 93 degrees anyway. So, yeah, we'll stop the the test. It will run normally. It can run and run and run. Yeah. And the temperature drops. Right, exactly.